<clears throat> now is the winter of our discontent made glorious summer from this sun of York. Mm, and all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our brows bound with the uh, victorious wreaths. Our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarums changed to merry meetings, eh? our dreadful marches to delightful measures. Grim visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, hmm, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasing of a lute. But I, that am not shaped for sportive tricks, nor made to court an amorous looking glass, hmm? I that am rudely stamped, and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph, I that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated a feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time into this rascal breathing world scarce half made up, and that so lamely and unfashionable that Dogs bark at me as I halt by them. Hmm? Why, I, in this weak, piping time of peace, have no delight to pass away the time, huh? unless to see my shadow in the sun and descant on mine own deformity. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these uh, fair, well-spoken days, I... I am determined to prove a villain. Mm. And I hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots have I laid, eh? Inductions dangerous by drunken prophecies, libels and dreams, to set one cabal against the other in deadly hate. He actually says to set my brother Clarence and the king in deadly hate, the one against the other. Hmm? And if King Edward be as true and just as I am subtle, false, and treacherous, this day should Clarence be closely mewed up about a prophecy which says that G of Edward's heirs the murderer shall be. Dive thoughts deep down into my soul. Dear Clarence comes. William Shakespeare. Mm. Yeah. There would have been a time for such a word. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Creep in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death out out brief candle life's but a walking shadow a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing.